Here's a little preview of what I'm trying to accomplish today. Now I know my scrap is not square on any of its planes, so the first thing I need to do is face plane, straight to the jointer. This craftsman jointer will get the job done just fine. The technique I use is to in-feed as lightly as possible while keeping most of my pressure on the out-feed side. A couple of passes here and we will move over to the drum sander to get to the other side. At this point you might be wondering where the sound of the machines went. Well, I decided to use some quiet elevator music behind this voiceover instead of the shop sounds. And it's not because the microphone died and nobody noticed. Don't worry though, because I decided at around the 3 minute mark that I would use shop sounds instead of elevator music. Not because the microphone became charged or anything like that. The drum sander will make quick work of this side of the board. I'm going to go ahead and take this opportunity to achieve the thickness that I want. The regulation hockey puck is one inch thick, so I'm going to go with that. I'm now going to joint one side of the board so I can begin the squaring process. Using the newly flattened faces, I can achieve a 90 degree angle on the side of the board in reference to the face. A couple of passes on the craftsman jointer is all it will take. I can now take this over to the table saw and using the newly jointed edge of the board as a reference, make a cut on the other side to make them parallel. I will now grab my crosscut sled to finish the squaring process by cutting off the ends of the board. Now that this board is perfectly square, I'm going to get it secured to the CNC waste board using painter's tape, glue, and a kettlebell. I will produce G-code for the CNC cutting tools using Carco and for my 24 watt JTEC laser using Lightburn. These two G-code files are now uploaded to the Onefinity and ready to go. We'll start with the laser to make sure that the piece stays in the same position on the table until we cut it out. The first thing we do is ensure that X and Y of the CNC are set. Then I will use the Z setter block to set the Z height. I forgot to turn off the laser after finding X and Y, so I moved it off the block before it started to melt. You can find my whole setup in the description of this video. I have smoke extraction and air assist configured using these tools. That's looking really good so far. We have a really nice burn that will definitely pop up when we get it finished up. Moving on to the cutting tool path, I'm using a quarter inch Jenny bit. First thing to do is set the X, Y, and Z. The Onefinity has an option to set all of these at the same time using this block. I was able to achieve a near perfect cutout here. As you can see, the graphics are centered in the middle of the cutout toolpath.
perfect. And something to note here is that because the cutout is still secured with the painter's tape and hot glue, I did not need to add purges, which makes the finishing work a little bit easier. Now, I'm going to add a 1 8 inch roundover to both sides of the puck using the router tape. I always sand everything before I put any kind of finishing products on it and never skip this step. For finishing, I am using tried and true Danish oil. This is my go-to product for finishing. It has never let me down. Almost gone though, so I need to go buy some more. And there we have it. I think that looks really good for a quick afternoon project. What do you guys think? Can I land this contract? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe.